Hi guys, welcome yet another again to yet another home range poultry video. Now, today's video is basically going to focus on brooding. Now, there's been a recent challenge that has uh, come up. Eh? As most of you know, if you live in Kenya, eh? there's been a sort of a ban on uh, you know cutting down of trees. We've actually been affected by that. One of the ways that we've been actually affected is that the cost of actually construction or constructing a poultry house eh, is going to go up simply because you know uh, of course timber is going to go up eh? now the second major challenge that is actually connected to brooding we are not able to get the the wood shavings uh, that you're supposed to put on the floor uh, when you're doing brooding if you go to previous videos uh, that we've done before you realize that uh, we do recommend uh, putting wood shavings on the floor uh, for your chicks before you load them into the into the brood eh? so having uh, realized that challenge eh, we really had to think outside the box and figure out what can we use uh, as an ideal floor material for a brooder. Behind me, eh, what you're seeing down here is actually a brooder that is currently uh, carrying 500 chicks. Um, when we were setting up the brooder, eh, we really had to figure out what are we going to use for the floor. And uh, what we decided to do is that we decided to use some dry litter material because it has to be dry and it has to be material which the chicks are actually comfortable in so i want to open up the brood and show you guys inside there eh, so that you see what is happening inside now as you can see eh, we've covered up the top we always do that uh, at night eh, to make sure that uh, you know the heat is uh, well insulated inside but during the day we usually open up the the brooder so that uh, the chicks are able to get uh, some fresh air so let's do that let's check inside then uh, we see what we've actually uh, put inside So here we are inside the brooder and guys as you can see on the floor of the brooder eh, we have actually used eh, some uh, straw or the dry grass on the floor and um, Actually, in terms of comparison, comparing the dry uh, grass as compared to the wood shavings, eh, I would highly recommend the dry grass. Eh, and uh, of course, below the dry grass, you have to put in some uh, a thick layer of newspapers that is uh, that would actually absorb any uh, spillages of water that may be there. But from that, as you can see, the chicks are pretty happy because of the covering that we have on the floor. It actually makes the place uh, pretty hot. And for our heat source. Eh, we basically use the uh, the lamps, the lantern lamps, eh? and I have, as I've discussed on previous videos, eh, the main thing that we actually use in the uh, those lamps is actually the secret to making sure that the brooder is as hot as possible. As you can see, we've only used the uh, one, two, three, four, five lamps for the brooder, and uh, it's perfect. So, guys, as you can see, eh, the lack of wood shaving should actually not curtail your aspirations eh, to actually do brooding and do it properly. So, keep watching our videos and subscribe to our youtube channel we always post videos so that you're kept updated